What's happening fandoms? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we react to music videos and shows. Today we're back to Invincible. This is season two, episode eight. I thought you were stronger. Um, this is my understanding, the finale of season two and uh, just in time at the end of last episode, uh, Angstrom Levy showed back up and uh, is apparently headed back to the dimension where Mark resides. And I expect we'll see some confrontation there. Seems like uh, also Mark and Amber are having real trouble, especially since a new Viltramite that we hadn't seen before showed back up on Earth and basically threatened to end Amber if Mark didn't do exactly what he was told. Seems like a pretty good way to make Mark uh, bend the knee to the Viltrum Empire. Um, no idea what's going to happen, but I'm excited to see it because this show never disappoints. It's always over the top. Let's go ahead and jam into the season finale. Here we go. What is happening? What the hell? Is he breaking out of prison? Why are we on Nolan? Oh, he's, this guy is running so hard he's about to throw up. You're gonna, you're gonna feel. You'll feel. You'll feel. <laughs> okay, full blue now. That's far enough. There's a chance you could kill me before I snap her neck. I'm not sure. Did you know your identity is public in almost half of the realities you exist in? So careless. I don't know why wow. you're here. But I'm warning you. You? You really don't remember who I am. Let me help. When we met before, you hadn't done this to me. Oh, God. You're that guy. That guy? That's all you remember of me? That I was that guy? Yeah. I am Angstrom Levy. So now, oh, I'll always boy. have a reminder of you and what you did. Now you can kill him before he oh, can I snap agree. their neck. Come get me. You walked right into that one, Mark. Now what? What the hell? And now you're trapped in another dimension. Must be invisible. Won't eat. I want my taste. Okay, he brought him back. Welcome back. Kill me? Of course you would. But don't worry. Hmm. I have no intention of hurting your brother or your mother. No. Your little family is safe. As long as I don't determine that the only way to hurt you is to hurt them. So do them a favor and die. Oliver! Is, when is he going to stop falling for this? <laughs> this is not Spider-Man. Fighting, not Doc Ock. Your bad luck, Prof Ock. Oh, shit. Prof okay. Ock. I didn't mean to. Hey, thanks, pal. Especially lately. <laughs> so, uh, trust me. I'm oh, the good boy. guy here. And Mr. Mechanical Arm. Super meta. You got glowing red eyes, man. How am I supposed to. Ah! 
Yep, told you. Prof. Ock. Yeah. You're okay, Oliver. It's gonna be okay. I don't know what game you're playing, but mm. you're not a killer. I, I'm sorry I didn't remember you. But I remember that night. You were trying to save me. <sighs> Maybe the accident changed you, but you were a good person trying to do a good thing. There trying you go. Saved you? After all the pain and suffering you've caused? Oh. I won't build my utopia with blood. Yeah, he was trying to save him. Justice. Justice will come for you. Oh, poor Angstrom. <laughs> you actually this isn't you hide evil, from me? Mark. My God. Look at you. Pathetic. You're making me feel bad, man. I'll tell you what. I'll kill the boy quickly. No! Oh, uh, yeah. Evil Mark is not good. Ooh, dang. It's over. It'll never be over until I've made you pay for everything you've done. I am done playing your game. Are they? You can't hurt me with that. <laughs> of course, he's just going to continue just stupid in every dimension. Gonna continue to keep flying through these stupid portals. Neat. Neat. Oh, great, it's a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> is more resilient than I anticipated. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he just keeps getting Stop him. This. Please. There's you no way to avoid them. This? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions and make the earth burn. Not me. Yeah. I raised the boy who defied his father and saved this planet. Yeah, there you From go. From what you say, these worlds are extremely different. I know the son I raised, and he is no killer. You sure about that? You yeah. You make it sound like this is the one world where Mark is good, and you're the one who's bad. I'm not the villain! Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. To save the world. Your son is the monster. Poor oh, Debbie. Oliver. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. He's just shattered her wrist. Okay. Your attack accomplished nothing. In some dimensions, time is all weird too. He's so just I don't even know how long it's been. Talking to these people. I have no idea what he's done to my mom or my brother. And there. And he's gone again. How did you get here? Where did you come from? The Skeletor? No, I mean, you're a man. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. What did you do to her? Mark is pissed. <laughs> Remember those doctors I told you about? Oh, oh he wants him to die in his own dimension. I want to do it myself! Damn. This doesn't end until oh. you and your family are dead. Wow. Stop frightening my family! 
Yeah, but now you're going to be stuck in this other dimension. I mean, he, he turned he turned him to a paste, right? There's not much left. Again, I thought you were strong. Wow, that is a 10 meter wide pool of blood he's sitting in. How the hell? He can't survive that, right? Where's Mark? I don't know. Let's, let's get you somewhere safe first. He's in you, another dimension. Get the medics in here. Now! Oh boy. Oh god. I lost control. There it I is. I wanted to kill him. Yep. That's the truth. What does that make me? I thought he was stronger. He told me he was stronger. I wanted to kill him, but I didn't know if I could. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, now you're asking the right question. Where are you? He took me here and I killed him. I'm stuck here. I kind of won. <laughs> kind of. But kind of he won. Because now what? Okay. Don't try anything. I accepted my fate long ago. Okay. Move. Here's Scott. Alan. Okay. Just cut me some slack. Jeez. Holy crap. My plan worked. What? Remember me? Yes. Why are you here? Face front, you nobin. Mm. For you, man. I'm here for you. Talk soon. Oh boy, Alan made it to the prison. <sighs> Nothing. Maybe something on Angstrom's body. Maybe his body could somehow still. Oh, what is? Uh What? That's Whoa. That's a different Eve. Mark. You, you look terrible. Maybe for you. For us it was 20 years ago. It took us that long to oh, find this damn. Dimension. Luckily, by that time there were four working time machines in Guardian custody. The world we come from, the world where you've been missing all these years, it's not good. Oh my god. We've already we're, said too much. We're time Any jumping more, we 20 years. Mark, I'm opening a portal that will send you home. Mark, wait. I love you, Mark. I have for a very long time and when you disappeared, I was oh. devastated. I <laughs> I I should have told you. Wow. Eve. I No, don't tell me. Tell her. Tell her you love her. Oh, all right. They're tell sending her you him. Don't love her. Just tell her something. Tell they're her sending him back to where he came so from. That she can go on with her life. I suppose you weren't paying attention when we discussed not damaging the time stream. Shut up, Rex. Hmm. Rex is different. 
20 years later. Uh oh. Oh god. <sighs> Mark, can, can you hear me? Oh. Poor Debbie. You feel so bad for her. Oh god. She's the reason he's different, though. Mom. I'm okay, Mark. They have matching it, black eyes. Is it over? You didn't cross the line. You kept your mom and your brother safe. End of story. I don't know, Cecil. I... Stop. Mark, look at me. Yeah, he needs him to be undamaged. The bad guys are dead and the good guys are alive. That's a good day. How do you know the difference? All the bad guys are usually ones who break people's arms. Go home. Get some rest. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. You're not him. I didn't like oh, Cecil yeah. in season one. I like Cecil more now. I'm still learning to navigate the world of in-person interactions. Hmm. Well, it shows. Yeah, Rudy. And for that, I apologize. But your transformations are a problem. You've expressed that yourself. And I fix problems. It's what I'm good at. It's mm. who I am. Huh. I care for you. So I wanted to fix your problem. Maybe ask me out on another date sometime. Oh. Uh, uh would, would you, you like to? Yes. Hmm. Okay. It's a super strained and weird relationship, but I like it. <laughs> He's just rugged outdoor man now. Immortal? <gasps> I'm sorry. I never told you. Kate. I never told anyone. Told anyone I what? Always kept hidden. And lived through a copy. Just in case. <laughs> oh, damn. I was so tired of dying. I was going to walk away. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. Everything's okay. Damn. That is a surprise. They let us think she was dead this whole second half of the season. Finally. Oh, and this guy that... I think we saw him first in season one? Somewhere? Got this? Ooh. Ooh. That's not... Come on. We'll find another way out. Hmm. These are new characters. I don't know who these girls are. But they're clearly going to find this dude. Oh, you go! <sighs> A whore, huh? Wait. You're both female. And? I must inhabit a living male host to escape okay. the curse of this tomb. That's sexist. Uh. Are you kidding? Everyone and everything you know will be gone. Oh, man. I forgot how awful Omni Man said that to me. I'm not my dad. I'm not my dad. Oh, yeah. He's real having trouble. Real trouble here. Huh. Fixing Debbie's house here. Okay. That's nice. That thing across the street is still wrecked, huh? Gas leak blew up the house across the street last year. Now your place? Oh, man, I gotta get my place checked out. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Can never be too safe. I'll be fine. We should get dinner going. You've got class tomorrow, right? 
I bet he's not going back. Mark? Yeah. I'm quitting college. Mark. It doesn't make sense. I'm missing all my classes, and the more I think about it, what's the point? Am I gonna be a dentist? With everything I can do, tell me why I need to go to college. Yeah, exactly. College does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. Mark? I can't. I have to learn how to control, to control himself. myself. Yep. It's important. Wow. It's the most important thing I can do. Damn. I have to get better. I have to be better. Because the vulture mites are coming. Mark. Do you? I do. How are you, though? Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Is he going to act on what future Eve uh, sure. told him? Or is he going to you know ignore it? For you. If you ever need a shoulder, I, I've got two. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You don't deserve this. Mm. Oh boy, I always liked him and Eve better anyway, even when he was with Amber, but he's not going to say anything, huh? That's yeah. except they always fool me. Yeah, here we go. Come on, Alan, what are you doing? But you saw Mark? Yes, on Earth, I came to enlist him in the Coalition's fight against your old pals. Mm -hmm. It seems you beat me to it. Leave him out of this. This isn't his fight. Let the boy have a moment of peace. I feel shame and regret for my actions. Wow. I see the suffering of lesser beings, and it upsets me deeply. You say that like it's a bad thing. He became human. What I did on Earth, the pain and destruction I caused was immeasurable. Is this gonna work? I deserve death. Oh mm. God. And yet, what? What is it? I think I miss my wife. What? <laughs> okay. I miss my wife. That's the thing. I mean, I I like it, but he called her his pet and she heard it. And then he killed countless people and almost killed his son their son I don't think I don't think there's a I don't think there's an arc where Nolan gets his wife back ooh wow that's an interesting take on that I do I do very much enjoy that Alan has infiltrated the jail he purposely got himself captured to find Nolan between the two of them with Alan being stronger now, they could probably escape from that from that prison next season. And uh, maybe, maybe missing his wife is just the motivation that Nolan needs to become the good guy that he could be. Very interesting. Um, the the whole I feel the feel emotions and sorrow for the suffering of lesser beings he's still a bit of an elitist prick but at least now he's recognizing that these lesser beings are worthy to have their lives and to not be subjugated and in pain and destroyed for at a whim so so that's a, a step forward um i'm Frankly, very surprised 
that Mark so easily destroyed Angstrom Levy. Um, we, we built him up for the entirety. Well, we really didn't. I mean, we, we, sh we showcased him at the very beginning of the season and then he disappeared for the entire season and came back at the very end. But his power and his ability to gain the knowledge of every dimension should have made him much more formidable. I think perhaps they were showing that uh, in his final moments, the, the instability of his hive mind conglomeration of all of the people that he kind of absorbed in that accident wasn't super stable and uh, maybe that was part of what brought him down is that he allowed the wrong kinds of memories to come to the forefront but couldn't really control all of them at once and uh, yeah it seems just that that whole that whole things felt unstable and like he was losing control of it what a thing though to have thousands of lifetimes of experiences and almost all of them it seemed like had direct negative uh, directly negatively impacted experiences with the evil versions of Mark and Nolan on their dimensions killed by them or their most precious loved ones killed by them it's no wonder that that overwhelming sense of revenge would would exist for Levy but he was so very easily defeated and then Mark's way out was the Guardians from our current present over the course of 20 years were searching for him and developing the technology to be able to move to another dimension and also time travel. Though so they time traveled to the very beginning of his time on that dimension and then time traveled him back to his own dimension immediately after he left it so that's a little bit of a i mean a lot of a lot of stuff that happens in comics and, and manga is deus ex machina but um the consequences of his actions killing levy in a dimension where there was nothing where he was trapped kind of didn't last very long so it seemed like a horrible punishment, but it was barely an inconvenience. They just shipped him right off back to where he belonged after a short period of dismay and uh, existential fear. So I guess not, not long enough for him to process all of his damage and wounds. And so when they sent him back, he was still in the middle of his, the beginnings of his PTSD. So yeah, I don't know that they did him any favors. Perhaps if they had given him a little time to process, he could have come back and been more, more useful. But uh, interesting, interesting way to wrap up the season. Um, they continue to surprise with these twists and turns. Um, Mark, I guess, is this literally the first time that he's actually killed someone? Because I feel like, I feel like that's happened lots of times before. So why was, why was Levy so the traumatic why was him killing this guy who was literally trying to kill him and threatening to kill his mom and his little brother why was that death 
the one that was so, so bad. I'm not quite sure if I understand the, if I understand that. Um, Cause there, there had to have been other deaths. He's either intentionally or unintentionally killed lots of, lots of people, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to give that some more thought. But um, it, was, uh, it was definitely nice to see that Debbie survived. Um, I would not have liked it very much had we lost Debbie. Debbie is the moral compass of this entire universe. And she should be protected at all costs. And even Oliver is growing on me a little bit, although I suspect that he's going to be something of a problem in future seasons. I don't know. I'm not even 100% certain that Amazon has greenlit a third season of Invincible. I think they'd be stupid not to, but um, who knows? Dumber things have happened, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, well... Uh, I think I'm going to leave it right there. I very much enjoyed the second half of season two of Invincible. It, it ended much like it started all the way back in season one, where we had a blood drenched main character shivering and quivering in his own insecurities and fears. And uh, I think that has a certain symmetry to it. Um, all right. Thanks guys so much for following along. Appreciate all the likes and comments and so on. They really help the algorithm keep things moving. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.